Welcome to another tutorial of Easy Worship 2009 brought to you by WorshipMediaPro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about foldback display. Now, foldback display is great because you can allow a customized display for the stage and uh, and it's you know the left hand side is awesome this is what the audience sees you know ba uh, beautiful backgrounds maybe some motion backgrounds of course you have the, the nicely formatted text but on the stage you want to be able to quickly glance at the text and see exactly where you're at also providing some extra information such as the particular verse of the song and then what's to come what's the next slide that's going to appear also Nice to have a timer up on the top right hand side to indicate the time and you know how much time you have left. So this is essential information for the stage that makes it just a little bit help, more helpful um, when you're when you're moving through the slides that are being projected for the audience. So you're going to see this graphic here uh, in the next slide, or actually I think two slides from here, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. But the idea here is you have a primary display, which is display one. This is the console that you're working from in Easy worship and then you have display number two which uh, is basically split up by a matrox dual head which I'll talk about more adapter that can split and span across multiple monitors the same desktop so what we're doing in foldback is we're carving out some real estate real estate that's going to be for your foldback and real estate that's going to be for the projector in the front of the house so some hardware requirements, and this is what's necessary to create the foldback display. Now you can use a secondary adapter, but what happens with the secondary adapter is it becomes a little cumbersome uh, with uh, your operating system and how to configure it and set it up. Set it up, and uh, you know to mitigate that and to simplify things, it's just best to incorporate a um, an external device which is called the Matrox Dual Head to Go. And this is the digital edition. And the reason why you would want the digital edition is because you want to be able to support the 16:9 aspect ratio. So if your if your projector today doesn't support 16:9, more than likely the next projector you get will. And this is to uh, project HD quality videos such as 720 or 1080p will be projected on 16.9. And then all the standard definition is on 4.3 aspect ratio. So make sure you get the digital head. I think it's like, uh, I don't know, it's just a couple bucks more. I, I believe these retail, you can get them for under $200 uh, on the internet. So uh, not a bad device for the digital edition. So make sure you get that. There's also a triple head one, but we're not talking about that in this particular tutorial. So, uh, you know, it allows you to span your desktops across multiple monitors and it eliminates the need for the secondary card, which is, I, I think, very cumbersome to, to uh, implement. And uh, this, I, I'm so happy when this, uh, when this device came out here because it really does simplify things. And uh, it works with Windows 7, XP, and Vista. So um, the idea here is, and actually, oops, let me go back one slide. The, the idea here is to... Uh, Take two, or take two displays and span your your desktop across to two displays. And in our example that I'm going to use throughout this tutorial here is 1024 by 768. So your primary monitor is 1024. Your front house uh, uh, projection display is also 1024, and the foldback is 1024. Uh, now, uh, 1024 by 768 is 4-3 aspect ratio, just in case you didn't know that. And, uh, and that's just as an example here, we're going to use that screen display. Your screen display might vary. You might have an 800 by 600, or you might already be using 16-9 aspect ratio, and you can just apply the, the math to that. Okay, so let's get started with this. So I am going to close that, and we're going to bring in this... Uh, display here and what this is is a uh, is a way for you to determine exactly the size of your monitor so in this case this being a, a dual monitor support with the matrox um, dual head I have my secondary monitor uh, double the size if you notice 10 uh, 2048 by 768 so the height remains the same but the width is double and then I have uh, the display number one, which is 1024 by 768. And if you go back to our uh, slide here, you'll see that uh, this is um, showing the primary as 1024. And then of course, the matrix is basically taking uh, what Windows believes to be one display, right? The secondary display and actually spanning it across two. 
So hopefully that makes sense. These are actually, this represents two separate monitors or two separate displays. One is your projector for the front of the house, one projector or display for the uh, stage. So hopefully that makes sense there. All right, so now I'm gonna cancel that out. And let's go into easy worship now and uh, make some changes. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? That's like really big. I think what happened was I was messing around with my display for this and there we go, that'll be better. All right, so uh, let's first start out by not printing anything, but going to general. And inside general, now you notice I clicked on this tab because first we're gonna set up our primary display tab, okay? And right now it says primary monitor, but we're gonna select custom and we're going to uh, put in the width and height of your primary display. Remember what the primary display is the one that you're working with on Easy Worship. And then uh, top is zero, and then that's the width, and then of course the width and the height. So that's it. So that's gonna be of monitor number two. Because remember monitor number two is actually double this, right? It's 2048, but we're customizing this and setting it up and, and basically reserving real estate to address this screen and this screen. So that's what that's what this display is doing right now. This display is addressing number two and number one. All right, so hopefully that makes sense there. We're addressing this one and this one. Okay, so now, oops, let's not do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Now we're gonna jump to the uh, additional one, if I can get to that, there we go. The foldback display. So now we've already pre reserved the real estate for our primary display and our front of the house display. Now I'm gonna configure foldback display, a completely separate place to go to do that. And of course there's other things you can do here. You can set up some other margins and things like that, but we're gonna leave it default and this is the way it looks right now. Nice black, you know, very straightforward, which is perfect. I don't think there's really any need to change that. And we're going to go to custom, all right? And we're going to do uh, 20, oops, wrong key, 2048. We're gonna leave that at zero. And then we're gonna do 1024 by 768. And what we just did here is, and I'm gonna say okay, but first, before I do that, let's just let's just see if I can't make this go side by side somehow. I think that's good enough. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are reserving left, this left, right? Because so, we doubled our two screens. So we've taken this real estate out and we're not defining this real estate. So we're saying that's for your primary displays, your front and front of the house and primary. And then we're, we're reserving our real estate to the right here, 1024 by 768 for fullback. So hopefully that makes sense again. And that's it, that, as simple as that. So now when I go live with anything here, it will automatically be presented on the foldback display. I hope that was really straightforward and uh, it made a lot of sense to you. Uh, please do leave comments if you wanted to have some more clarity or if you feel I missed something, I'm more than happy to go back and, and redo it to make sure that it's understandable for everyone. One of the things I love about Easy Worship is it's very intuitive and easy to use. So hopefully you guys feel the same way and thank you so much for your time. God bless.